Hello Star Wars fans and welcome to another video. Well this is another one of my cool Star Wars shoe videos and uh, I've picked these up. Um, it's uh, the beginning of August here in the UK, beginning of August everywhere, <laughs> but it's the beginning of August and here in the UK I found these in Tesco and they were £11. They're ch unfortunately they're children size so um, I've got um, a pair of these, um, I bought two pairs, I put a pair away for my uh, youngest nephew, he's going to like these and I'm sure his sister's going to want a pair so I'm sure I'll be picking up another pair for um, my youngest niece as well but um, I'll show you around the shoe and let you guys see some close-ups. Right it's really really cool Darth Vader come to the dark side. Velcro fastening which is very nice because with the laces you can you can have Star Wars laces but you can fit so much more on the velcro straps very very cool and the same image on the other side of the shoe and it took me quite a few sort of pairs to rummage through to find some that hadn't already been marked across the front here so some of them had some quite bad scratches so if you're going to buy these for your collection I suggest you get out there soon and find these rather than, you know, sooner rather than later before they get a lot of shop wear. But um, if you're going to buy them for your child, I'm guessing they're, they're going to kind of get marked quite, quite quickly. Now, on the inside of the shoe, there is the classic Star Wars logo there, which I love. And something I always say, if you watch any of my Star Wars shoe videos, it would be a great idea if uh, these shoe manufacturers were to actually put something on the sole, like a Star Wars character, the Star Wars logo. So when children are out and, and they're in the sand on the beach or they're puddles, paddle, puddling, puddle splashing, if they're, pa if they're splashing around in puddles, oh my goodness, tongue twister. Um, and so after they can leave some imperial or rebel footprints behind them they would love that i know my nephew would but these guys they never take the time to put any any sort of markings on the bottom there it's it's just a great idea great branding we'll leave that behind in some wet cement fantastic everyone knows star wars has been there and um yeah so that's kind of my only only downside to these shoes Absolutely fantastic. I love them. They were in £11 in Tesco, so you may wait and get them on offer, but I paid full price. Um, now, something that is kind of interesting, there's this uh, lozenge section here, which uh, is a different shade of white to the rest of the shoe, and it looks like, I mean, it is a separate section. You can see where it's been glued in. So it looks like it was going to be something else in there. So maybe they were going to put a Star Wars logo across here and then decided not to, or by the time they manufactured the shoes, it, it, it just didn't happen in time. So they thought, all right, just get a bit of filler, filler rubber, and, uh, you know, some adhesive, get that fixed in there. Or, um, yeah, or what, were these originally going to be light up shoes? I don't know. There's going to be some sort of. So that's a bit of a puzzle. So I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, it definitely looks like there should have been something there. Or was it a shoe they've used for another company and there was say, like a Marvel logo there? So they've just. All they've done is reuse this mold for the bottom half of the shoe and uh, they've taken out the Marvel logo. And uh, so is that what's happened? That's, that's quite likely as well. So there may have been a Star Wars image or logo that they were going to use and decided not to, or it's already been used for another manufacturer and there's already been another logo or another conflicting detail there that's, that's not Star Wars related. So uh, yeah, so it does spoil it a bit. So apart from that, I like these shoes a lot. And £11, you think if there were a pair of Vans or if there are a pair of Adidas or Adidas, depending on what side of the water you come from, um, they would have been a lot more expensive. So um, for the price, I'm very, very happy with them. So guys, as always, do follow me on Twitter. I tweeted these the moment I found them, just to let you guys know, new shoes out. I mean, I, I do a lot of shopping, and uh, my wife and I, we both do a lot of shopping. So we're always out there finding new stuff. So as we find it, we tweet it, uh, we get the word out there what I found, where I found it, how much I paid for it. So you guys have the chance to get out there and either get some bargains before they vanish or get the new stuff as it comes out. So uh, don't do follow me on Twitter and um, also don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Let me know that 
if you're going to buy them or not, if you're going to buy them for your collection, if you're mad and collect everything Star Wars like I do, or if you're going to buy them for a child. And uh, So let me know. Also subscribe to me here on YouTube and don't forget you can share the video as well. So share it on Twitter and Facebook and let people know what's out there. As always guys, thank you very much for watching and may the force be with you. Bye for now.